In part one, I introduced the general outline of the vibration test. The transition of a failure rate over elapsed years is indicated by such a curve, with the time of the hor horizontal axis and the failure rate on the vertical axis. There are three defined of periods. The initial failure period, the stable period, and finally the wear out failure period due to fatigue. The red line is called a bass tube curve as it mirrors the shape of a bass tube. Let me explain here by taking an example. For example, assuming that you are a designer of certain automobile parts and work out the design of automobile parts without changing the parts from a new car to a discarded car. Let me give an example whether or not it is a good way of approach when all test conditions must be worked out for the prototype design parts. The next motion video shows an experiment on what will occur when giving a vibration to a specimen with various resonant points. Six plates with different natural vibration frequencies are fixed on a system. As shown in the video, the timing that each plate resonates is displaced due to a different natural vibration frequency. The sweep test for the sine wave it is found that only a single frequency is definitely involved at the same time. Next, with the same setup, conduct the sweep test for the random wave vibration test. This slide shows the classification by waveforms. In addition to the before mentioned sine wave, random wave, shock wave, there are two more kinds of waves. One is a mixed wave. This is a vibration in which a sine wave and a random wave are mixed SOR and a vibration in which a random wave is mixed with a random wave ROR. This is referred to as a mixed wave in the Japanese industrial standard. Another is a measured wave. The vibration test is conducted using an actual measured waveform. 